<laughs> Shit. Oh. If she wasn't overly happy and all that. I don't mind her personality at all. It's I don't mind her personality, but I think it's her personality supplemented by the gameplay that doesn't really make it any better. Yeah. Although, I do have to be honest, I do prefer how she's pretty normalized yes. in this yes. game. Like, you know, you see her just walking down the streets carrying a bag of groceries. It's like, it just shows that she has a life. <laughs> yeah, it, it shows that, like, you know... Because, I mean, as opposed to all the other Sonic characters, like, as we just mentioned, Shadow's, like, some... Oh, yeah. Sonic CD reference! Woohoo! Yep. Which we've already done. If you haven't checked it out, do it. <laughs> yeah, she goes, look at that. It's actually pretty fantastic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like how she's normalized where you know, Knuckles is a guardian, the Master Emerald. And Tails is always following Sonic, and Sonic's, you know, a constant wanderer, and Amy's, you know, daydreaming. Yep. And also slightly dense. Yep. Gotta be honest, her eyebrows aren't exactly any better. <gasps> Gasp! <laughs> Over-exaggerating. No, but, uh... Yeah, but... My point is, is she's she's pretty normalized, and I kind of appreciate that that she's not gotta have some like super like you know weird lifestyle. It's like yeah, she just you know lives in the city and does her daily shopping like she's a person, yeah. like a human. Yeah. So yeah. Da, 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 da. And all of a sudden, bird in your face. Nope, nope. It's a cameraman just getting drunk again. Ah yeah, man, helicopter cameraman. <laughs> So terrible. Why do you call, why do you call him Birdie? I just call him Flicky. Come on, call it Flicky. Well, I mean, this is where they kind of began to like deviate from the whole like Flicky idea. Hi, Zero. Molestation robot, run and away! I don't know why I didn't cut that freeze time out, but whatever. It didn't take that long anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I wasn't quite thinking that through when I was editing the videos. I've had a lot of my plate as is. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, I mean, it's alright. But, uh. Zero. Polite robot just looks in the window, does not attempt to break down the door. Yeah, it's like, oh, I think I might have seen her in there, but no, not gonna go in. I don't wanna disturb the. I would say other customers, but we don't see any customers in there. Mm. We never see anyone in that burger shop, except for that clerk. Yeah, must be bad for business. But I do love, I do love abusing the Pico Pico hammer on this playthrough, though. Oh, always. Because it does if make... There's, there's, if there is a mechanic for a character, oh man, abuse the hell out of that, especially if it allows you to try... Whoa! Stopping me there to say hi to Cream. Hi, Cream. Hey, Cream. <laughs> but yeah, you know, mechanic that makes you travel pretty far, better abuse the living hell out oh, of it. Yes. And actually, you know, because I don't know why they didn't... Okay, I I I'm just going to go on a splurge right now. I do love Amy Rose's gameplay mechanic on the Sonic Advance series. I do love... The, the characters uh, mechanics on that. Oh no, nah, she's she's pretty she's pretty stellar, honestly. Yes, especially in Sonic Events Two. Mhm. Mm ah, oh, what was it? I think I preferred her on three in a lot of combinations as well. Yeah. Well, I prefer it because every time I do go do a playthrough of Sonic Events Three, I've always, you know, chosen a combination of Amy and Sonic because she then gets the spin jump. And all that mm -hmm. yeah. lovely jazz. And, uh, Knuckles and Tails? Hell yeah, because I love to abuse the partner mechanics of Sonic Advance 3. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty fun. Yes. Uh, can't wait to get into the Sonic Advance franchise as well. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. But, uh, another time for that. Let's track down or stalk Sonic. <laughs> Yeah. There he is. Not fair. I can't run 
run as fast as oh, you. Oh man. I like how they point that out. Yeah. Hi, Zero. Now what's wrong? God. Huh? Yeah, it's like it's not that big of a deal, Amy. You don't have to scream that loud. <laughs> Seriously. Could be just like, oh, we should go on a date while we're being chased. <laughs> one track mind, one track mind. I don't know why, but I was tempted to, uh, during the Twinkle Park segment right here, while Amy's trying to get in, I was tempted to add in that Jasmine uh, playing that tune, like, dun 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 Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, now for Amy's first stage, it's like one of three that she has yeah, or something. Yeah, she has three stages all together. But, uh, yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did I just see Zero fly out of the pool right there? Uh, if you have, you have better eyesight than me because I didn't see anything. I am... Almost positive that's what I saw. Oh, look! I run was... shoes that don't do jack squat for Amy. <laughs> they don't, and it agitates me. <laughs> oh, well. And actually, I do love this segment of Twinkle Park as Amy Rose. I do as well. I mean, you, you get introduced to the Hall of Mirrors while being chased down by Zero, and you get, like, these wonky camera... Um... Angles. angles. Yeah, thank you. And, uh... Fuck! <laughs> Not sure what you were doing there, but okay. Oh, I, 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 right. I just felt like saying hi to a pit of spikes. It's not like I fell in there or something. Obviously not. See, I wanted to say hi to that ball of spikes, too. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, it, it, it's fun because... When I was when I was little, I didn't know which ones were trapdoors. But in my later playthroughs, I just look at the mirrors like, "Are you fucking shitting me?" Yeah, it's like, how how did I not know this? <laughs> how? I don't know. But uh, yeah. Uh, I don't really mind like the way her levels work out though. I think it's kind of interesting yeah. because there's some areas like you know where you like take cover and hide and everything like that barrel right there. Can be used like that. I should be in the Olympics for <clears throat> pulling something off like that. <laughs> I also liked how you did what you just that uh, you can do what you just did there, where you you know you like smack him with the hammer yeah. and uh, he gets knocked down for a bit. Yep. Woohoo! Well, that's well, Twinkle Park. Eat it out of there. Uh, and I hate using her in Twinkle Circuit because she's the slowest fucking character to use. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. I forgot you could go in there with other characters. Yeah, I think um, to do that as big or E102 Gamma, or even Knuckles for that matter, uh, you have to find um, a card, which is like on the side mm -hmm. of this building yeah. that I'm looking at right now to uh, access Twinkle Circuit as the other characters. And you're captured! No. Damn it! Sorry, Sonic. Good job, Amy. So All that work. Sorry, Sonic, but your princess is in. Oh wait. Ah, wrong franchise. <laughs> is that an emblem up there? It's weird that it was an emblem up there. Yeah. I just don't bother, you know, collecting the emblems in this game at all. I mean, I just forgot that they sit around yeah. and, you know, essentially <laughs> just out in the world space. Oh, there's a black chow egg. Yep. And all sorts of little things to kind of ca catch on to. That bird doesn't really look agitated, so I don't know why she's trying to calm it, it down. It kind of looks pretty friggin' calm. It's like, uh, I've been for this shit before. And E102. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. I really love his theme song for some reason. Yeah. I think it just fit him really well. I do love E-102 Gamma as a character, though. Because it's like, it's the only one of Eggman's robots that actually ends up having a personality. 
Yeah, it grows to he grows to have a sense of you know morality essentially. Nope. Dot JPEG. Nope. <laughs> Quietly hand over the bird. Why not? He didn't exactly have an uh, annoying voice either. And E123 Omega didn't in Sonic uh, Heroes either. I actually like Omega's voice too. Yeah. Until Sonic 06 happened. <laughs> he was still alright as a character, I suppose. I just don't like the robotic voice that Omega had in that game. I'm sorry. It yeah. just doesn't work out well. Yeah, no, 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 no. I understand that. I understand that. Because, I mean, we get robot voices like. Gamma, and then Omega, and Sonic Heroes, and then we get the uh, robot voice from Sonic 06. Fuck. <laughs> no, no, Amy, you should rephrase that. Love is not part of your programming. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Look into my yeah, eyes. There. Look into my eyes. It looks yeah, I never really went got what kind of went on there. I think it's because he's got like you know, I guess a flicky inside of him. Oh, spoiler alert! Ah, crap! Spoiler alert! Damn it! Yeah, Red flicky's inside. Burn me at the stake. <laughs> we don't get in. Burn me at the stake, guys, <laughs> for that one. That was that was awful. Yeah. You should you you need to put an annotation in there, like add like supreme. Spoiler alert! Yeah. Because yeah, that was that was terrible of me. I can't believe I didn't catch that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't get it until later playthroughs, to be honest. <laughs> well, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, just the fact that I like said it without you know alerting it at all. Yeah. Oof, I can't believe. Sometimes I slip up really, really bad with spoilers. I, I mean, that's understandable because um, I mean, if it's I, I, I don't think I know anybody that hasn't played this game at all, to be honest. But I guess to a, 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 a couple of viewers that don't know what the hell Sonic Adventure is. <laughs> yeah, also, I'd like to just say that Eggman definitely is not one of the best villains. No, if he has the time to build a whack-a-mole game. <laughs> Not the that, not that. The fact that he's like, you're not gonna escape from here unless you can beat my whack-a-mole score. Right. Which like, is, wow. Which is only 2,000 points. Yeah, he's not very good. It's funny because, you know, I just leave it at 2,100 for the remainder of the time. Just, uh, okay, time to wait. Yeah, why struggle? <laughs> right. I think you get something, though. Yeah, you get the warrior feather. I can't believe this! What, you didn't get the warrior feather? Yeah, I got the warrior feather right here. Oh, okay. Get it right here. Oh. And then later on during the playthrough, I come back to this mini game to get the long camera. Behold the warrior feather! Now you can oh, okay. Which is right. Amy's final item in this game. It's a long camera. She only gets two items in this playthrough. Is it just the score that determines yeah. getting the long hair? Yeah. I can't remember. Okay. Yeah. I, I, and I realized that, you know, later on during the playthrough, too, and you, you'll definitely see it. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah. That's Amy's first part. We will see you in the next part. Next video. Coming closer to the end.